Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to latest Global Trends. If you are new here, welcome. Now, Somizi has decided to say something that everybody has been afraid to say. She's calling out everyone who was so fake, every celebrity who was so fake towards Zahara when she was not well. And now that she has passed away, people are pretending to have cared about her. Even though she asked for help several times from people, nobody was helping her. But now that she has passed away, people are saying that she had a heart of gold and an end. And he did a video talking about this, just detailing. Good morning. Welcome to Bathroom Talk with us. So easy. Why? I don't understand why it's doing this. Anyway, please give me your time and listen to this. Um, I want us to talk about how human beings in general, including myself, are more respectful and fearful of death than of life and i'm saying this it's been on my mind for the past few days um when i heard that zahara is in hospital and she's not in a good condition and so forth and so on i thought of hmm should anything happen to zahara god forbid should zahara not make it i know for sure that Sahara is going to be an overnight hero, an overnight icon. People are going to be saying how the industry has lost a, a, an icon, how she's gone too soon, how she was amazing, how she was an amazing vocalist, how she... And yet we all know that in reality, she was one of the most mocked personalities People celebrated her downfall. People used to make fun of her situations. We knew that she had her own fair share of hardships. But she was hardly giving her flowers. Right? And for me, that is the part that I'm like, ah, human beings, human beings, can you imagine how beautiful the world would be if we celebrated life, we respected life, we were fearful of, of, of not, of taking life for granted and celebrating it and celebrating each other because that's the only thing that we are guaranteed of. Or that we know for sure it is life we don't know about death we don't know what happens on the other side but yay you have to die for you to be acknowledged you have to die for you to be more respected you have to die for you to be more honored and to be given your flowers literally and figuratively where people have more flowers at funerals than in real life where people give you flowers in, in your death than when you are alive. Where people acknowledge you when you are dead than when you are alive. Sis. Ooh, sis. If that's how you're going to be, or we're going to be, I keep your flowers. Keep your, I'll buy myself flowers. I'll buy myself flowers, Baba. Now, bonga. Because it's the very same people that now all of a sudden their hearts are broken. Are they broken because they've lost someone that they, they know they can't mock them anymore? Or are they broken because now they feel guilty that they mistreated you? Including our personalities, including myself. If Zahara called today and said, Sumiz, I need help. Would I help immediately? If Zahara cried for help, which she did, but hardly, hardly anybody jumped. But look at the funeral. Oh, at the funeral. We'll be flying to Eastern Cape if she's buried there. When we've never been to her house, when we've never even made an effort to check up on her. 
we human beings. And when I say we, I include myself. I'm not excluding myself from this. I'm not excluding myself from this. See, Kosha Yele. See, Akula. We are not okay. But we still have time to change that. We still have time to change that. And the time is now. I promise myself I'm going to do better. I'm going to be better. But more than anything, I will buy myself my own flowers. Keep your flowers. If you're going to deprive me of those flowers and you're saving them for when, for, for when I'm dead. Anyway, have a wonderful now, of course, fans had this to say. Someone said it. This is very much true and made me think of the other female singer who is going through the same fate as Zahara in the industry. Another one said, after hearing of her passing, I had a thought the radio station must not play her music in her honor because I don't even know who's pocketing her money. It is really heartbreaking. And another comment I said, the following, they said, sis. The whole of Mtata is now playing Zahara songs. Aba bebe mshega. Yo, guys, ne? Uh uh, no. I think we need to change. Another comment said If you want to be loved by people, you must first die. Eane. Another comment had this to say They feel guilty because they mistreated her. You know, as there was a point in time where Zahara was trending because she had a drinking problem and you know she was just trending all over social media and I really feel like there's a lot of truth to what Samizi is saying not even a lot what he's saying is the truth people always do this a celebrity will be suffering we've, we've seen even other celebrities who have passed away you know when they were still alive nobody was helping them nobody was reaching out to them and once they pass away that's when they get posted on social media and just talk about how they've changed the industry and that is no different from what happened to zahara because even so is saying him included as much as he was the first person to give zahara um, a huge amount of money while she was singing in the streets she also did make fun of her for drinking you know and i guess he has realized soon enough that you know we need to change and i really love sumizi for this this has been going on for quite a long time where people only appreciate you whether you're a celebrity or a normal person they always celebrate you they celebrate you when you are dead and it's just so sad what are your thoughts on this do drop a comment down below thank you so much for watching do not forget to like subscribe click on the notification bell so that you don't miss anything from us and we will definitely see you guys in the next one